everyone welcome back to my channel uh, this video is in two parts and this video is about the Mokchung Museum I have done a voiceover in this video um, I've only used the voiceover several times in the past with DIYs I did it two or three times and I do believe in a cooking video, I did a little bit of a voiceover as well. Um, there is so much information at this museum. Um, I know that some of you may want me to do other videos um, down the road about the Molly Maguires about Jim Thorpe himself and I am most happy to do that. Let me know in the comment section of this video. Um, I felt it was better to break the video down rather than do one long video because my analytics when I do that tell me that the views are better when I break a long video down into two or three segments as compared to just one long video with the exception of the Dark History of Hazelton, um, that video actually got really substantial views last year. I was really proud of that video. I think I did a good job with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for all. So you are notified every time I do upload a new video. Take care, guys. And I will see you all on my next one. Bye. A visit to the Mokcha Museum begins with a video introduction to the sites and history of the town in a video room with displays of the Molly Maguires, a Lehigh Canal lock, and switchback memorabilia. Afterwards, the museum is open for touring the 30-foot-long model of the Switchback Gravity Railroad, America's first significant railroad models of the canal system, and displays of the town's history through its becoming Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. The building is located at 41 West Broadway, about four blocks from the Jim Thorpe train station. It has a classic mock chunk history of its own. Constructed in 1849 as the Methodist Episcopal Church, as the town went through hard times in the 1900s, the church closed in 1976. After attempts to convert it into an antique mall, then stripping its architectural features in anticipation of demolition, the building was purchased in 1988. There was new electrical service installed, heating, and other structures. Jim Thorpe, by name of James Francis Thorpe, for May 28, 1888, near Prague, Indian Territory, now in Oklahoma, U.S., died March 28, 1953, Lomita, California. He was one of the most accomplished all-around athletes in history, who in 1950 was selected by American sports writers and broadcasters as the greatest American athlete and the greatest gridiron football player of the first half of the 20th century. Predominantly of American Indian descent, Sock and Fox, uh, I believe is his background. Thorpe attended Haskell Indian School in Lawrence, Kansas, and Carlisle, Pennsylvania Indian Industrial School. While playing football for Carlisle under coach Bob Warner, he was chosen as halfback on Walter Kemp's All-America team in 1911 and 1912. He was a marvel of speed, power, kicking, and all-around ability. Also in 1912, Thorpe won the Cathlon and the Pentathlon by wide margins at the Olympic Games in Stockholm, 
but in 1913, an investigation by the Amateur Athletic Union showed that he had played semi-professional baseball in 1909 and 1910, which should have disqualified him from Olympic competition. He was subsequently stripped of his gold medals. From 1913 through 1919, Thorpe was an outfielder for the New York, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Boston baseball teams in the National League. He was more successful among the early stars of American professional football from 1919 through 1926. He spent two seasons, 1922 to 23, with the Oorang Indians, whose owner attracted crowds by having Thorpe and his teammates dress up and perform Indian tricks before games in a halftime. In 1920-21, he served as first president of the American Professional Football Association, later the National Football League. He also excelled in such diverse sports as basketball, boxing, lacrosse, swimming, and even hockey. In his later years, even as he was celebrated in magazine and newspaper articles as one of the greatest athletes of all time, alcoholism and the inability to adjust to employment outside sports reduced Thorpe to near poverty. The 1951 film biography of his life titled Jim Thorpe, All-American and starring Burt Lancaster transformed his story into uplifting melodrama with the fallen hero rescued by his old coach, Pop Warner. In 1954, after his death, the communities of Mock Chunk and East Mock Chunk, Pennsylvania merged to form the borough of Jim Thorpe. From 1955, the Jim Thorpe Trophy was awarded annually to the most valuable player in the NFL. In 1973, the Amateur Athletic Union restored his amateur status for the International Olympic Committee did not recognize his amateur status until 1982. Thorpe was subsequently restored as a co-winner of the decathlon and pentathlon of the 1912 Olympic Games, along with second place finishers in those events. His Olympic gold medals were restored to his family in 1983.